He was, he was big for Oklahoma. He was football big. And he wasn't afraid of nothing. He had this look in his eye that one, you know, wasn't actually looking for trouble, but wasn't purposely avoiding it. <laughs> I remember one time I went to hear him. He was playing in Los Angeles, and I was sitting in, in the seats in the little club there. He's on stage, singing his songs, taking them seriously. And there were some people talking in the back of the room. And he just looked out there and said, quiet down out there. And they just kept talking, like they didn't even hear him. And so he said it again. He said, I said, quiet down out there. And they kept talking. Hoyt puts down his guitar, walks out in the crowd, picks up two people, one in each hand. Walked out the door. Door closed, you could hear stuff banging, breaking, people screaming, yelling, crying, you know. The door opens, in comes Hoyt. By this time, the rest of the crowd is definitely quiet. Gets up on the stage, picks up his guitar, sits down and says, I shouldn't have done that. I love Hoyt. Not only was he a good friend, he was actually a cousin of mine. And his mom wrote Heartbreak Hotel for Elvis. He came from a, uh, a lot of people that were writing songs. So here's an old uh, a song of, that Hoyt and I used to, we used to swap songs on each other's records. You know, I, I recorded some of his and he'd do some of mine. And here's one that I recorded back years ago and never had a chance to really do live until we put uh, some of the folks in this band together. Go something like this.